Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Cinnabon Bakery inspired cheddar roll. This is sausage and egg sandwich. It is savory sausage and egg on a cheddar roll croissant. It was $6.28 at Walmart for the two sandwiches. And I really, really want to thank Jamie on Facebook for telling me that this was available because um, on our trips to Walmart so far, we had not seen this. And then Jamie said, hey, wait a minute. There's one out that I've seen that you haven't bought. So thank you, Jamie, for telling me about it. Um, you can uh, heat these in the toaster or in the microwave. Of course, they come frozen. Uh, we are going to heat it in the toaster because if they're giving you toaster instructions, I feel like that's probably the best way to heat it. It says remove sandwich from wrapper, set temperature to 350, and heat stacked sausage and egg for 10 minutes so let's get that going so here's the sandwich and I'm gonna see if it um, if it needs scissors the last one that we got did not need uh, did not require scissors so I wouldn't think this one would require it either you just have to be able to get a hold of it with your nails of course if you do have scissors that'll make it easier so it opens right up like this it's like a bed in a bag. <laughs> Looks just like a bed in a bag. So what you do is you take your sausage and egg and you take it, remove it from the biscuit, put it over here. You're gonna heat this up for 10 minutes. We use aluminum on our tray so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and you don't have to clean it, honestly. You can just be lazy and take the aluminum off, throw it away. And then after 10 minutes, you take your, uh, your cheddar roll and you add it to the um, aluminum and you put it in for an additional eight minutes so we'll be back when it's time to reassemble it okay this is what it looks like after the total 18 minutes so now you just want to assemble it um, on your plate just like this and I'm gonna take a picture of it for you and then I'm gonna actually cut it so that Kevin and I can try it over at the table and we'll be back. Okay, the box says, get ready to fall in love with breakfast again. We've taken a light and flaky croissant rolled with cheddar cheese, baked to a golden perfection and served it with savory sausage and fluffy eggs. Simply delicious. One sandwich is 120 grams and it's 360 calories or you could eat both for 710 calories. So, you know, if you wanted to save this, if you eat more calories for dinner or whatever, you could eat the entire box if you wanted to. You could eat both of them and have a, a big dinner. I can tell you, um, I, I told Kevin, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. I like doing it in the toaster oven because the cheese got a little toasty. And I don't think in the microwave it would. It mm -hmm. would have. I uh, really like the flavor of that sausage. Mm -hmm. That is good sausage. It's good and it's not spicy either. So it would appeal to pretty much everybody. Anybody mm -hmm. that likes sausage, you can eat this because it's not spicy. There's no mm -hmm. tingle. I love the texture of the croissant. Mm -hmm. That it's crisp from the microwave. I mean, from the toaster oven. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. Yes, I'm impressed with that. Mm -hmm. My only fear, no, it doesn't feel bad. That's because like the, the egg got a little toasty on the edge. No, it's good. But it didn't oh, dry yeah. it out. Because mm -hmm. I worried about it being dried out where it toasted, but it, but it didn't. It's still very uh, tender. I mm -hmm. am not a big frozen meal type person. So... Kevin is, if you've ever watched him on Lunchtime Review on that channel, that's what he does there, is, my, is a, a frozen stuff, stuff in the microwave. I'm, I'm just, I don't eat a lot of those foods. But I'm telling you right now, I would buy these again and again. I there think, you go. Oh, I think they're delicious. Yeah. Uh, um, you can't, the cheese really adds more of the texture than it does flavor. I don't really get a lot of cheese flavor. I think it, I think the croissant would not have gotten as crisp no. without the cheese. That's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. it's all for the texture, really, mm -hmm. more than the flavor. I don't really get a lot of flavor from it. I mean, there is because you get that toastiness from it. Right. Um, the crispiness, but I don't, 
it's not, don't expect something that's really super cheesy. It, it's not like that. If you wanted something super cheesy, you could put a piece of cheese on top of it. Um, you could. Another piece of, but it doesn't need it. I'm just saying no, if you wanted it, you could do that. It but doesn't like need it. it at all. For that matter, if you wanted to add any condiments to it that oh, you yeah. wanted to. But I don't think it needs it. I think, I think the it's flavors good are there. You do get the the flavor of the egg is there, but honestly, mainly you're tasting you're tasting the croissant and that and sausage. sausage. Yeah, I agree. Um, but if I were to rate this meal, I would give it uh, I would give it a five out of five just because yeah. I like it. Um, out of all the reviews I do, I would do it a four. So a four. Yeah, yeah. Still really good. Though. Kevin rates everything on his lunchtime review from one to five, and yeah. five as being the very best. So if this were on your lunchtime review It'd channel, you'd give it a four. Yeah, only because of the cheese. I wish the cheese made more of an impact flavor wise, but. I'm very, very. It's very I mean, there's no absolutely nothing wrong with it. So try it out, and I think in the microwave it'll be good. Just know you're not going to get the you're going to get the texture, but I don't think you're going to get quite the crispiness from it. If you have 18 minutes, and that's the thing about nowadays, we're used to everything being ready. Especially if you're going if you're eating for lunch. Exactly, or breakfast, or whatever. You're wanting something quick. Um, but if you have 18 minutes to spend, if you can kind of think of it, you know beforehand and, and get it started, then it's worth doing it in the toaster. Oh. And of course we use the toaster oven, uh, but you can put this in a regular oven. They just, I think they didn't put that on there because they hate for you to heat up a whole oven for one sandwich. But of course you can make it in the regular oven as well. So yes, I hope you will try these out. If you do, let us know and thanks for watching.